Hello and welcome to another edition of Tobes Tries. So today we're doing an import item. Um, we're doing a candy and it is a Haribo candy and this is from Germany. It was actually purchased here in the US. Um, I'm not sure where it was purchased. It was uh, sent into the show by my stepmom, so thank you for that. It is um, fruit and cola Schnecken. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize if I butchered that at all. I don't speak German. Um, but these are like little kind of pinwheels and they come in five different fruit and cola flavors. I think it's four fruit and then just the one cola. Um, but I want to do a little bit of history on Haribo. Um, this is probably my favorite manufacturer of like gummy candies. So I have some other options here that are more common in the US. I have the gummy bears. I have the cola bottles. And then I got my personal favorite, the twin snakes. Um, so Haribo was founded in 1920 in Germany by Hans Riegel Sr. in the city of Bonn, Germany. So if you actually take the first two letters of Hans Riegel and Bonn, you get ha ri bo Hans Riegel Bonn. So the name Haribo is actually an acronym. Fun little fact there. And um, they actually invented the gummy bear in 1922. 19, excuse me, 1922. And um, of course the gummy bears, especially here in the US, they come in this gold bag with the Nice clear window, you can see all the cool, brightly colored bears in there, and they come in a variety of fruit flavors. Everybody loves gummy bears. Um, so when they were first introduced into the US, they were sold at more like gourmet um, candy shops and confectionery um, places. But in the 1980s, Harbo of America was formed in Baltimore, Maryland, and they started selling them in more, well, convenient places, gas stations, convenience stores, pharmacies, stuff like that. And the popularity grew to the point that uh, Haribo of Germany couldn't keep up with the supply and demand for the gummy bears. And so that opened the way for a competition from Trolley of Germany and then Black Forest of America was formed. And so those are the two big kind of competition as far as Haribo and their gummy snacks go. Uh, I think personally that Haribo is the best. Uh, I just think they have a, the best flavor. And like I said, these three are like mainstays. Like if I'm going to a movie or something or a ball game, you guarantee I got some of these stashed away to get into the theater. But these ones I've never tried, having only just heard of them actually. And they're like I said, from Germany. You can see. Um, the whole packaging on the back is all in German. I don't think it's going to pick up that tiny text. So you can see in the front, a little bicycle kid with his, I don't know, pinwheels or bike wheels. But, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and give these a try. Oh. Right off the bat, these smell delicious. These are, I mean, they just smell like super sweet, very fruity smelling. Um, so, they... Like I said, my stepmom got these for me, um, and I guess she picked up a couple of bags of them. And my dad made sure that the one I got here has one of each flavor. So we are going to go ahead and try them. Um, he, he said the way he likes to do it is kind of cut them into quarters. That way you're not like just popping the whole thing into your mouth at once. Um, they are like ropes, but he said if you unravel them, the flavor is not as intense. So you can see they're kind of almost like Twizzlers. You can unravel them, and then it's two ropes. Um, I'm not going to cut them. What I'm going to do is probably just take like a little bite out of each one and then go from there. So first up we have the red and according to the packaging here, the red is going to be strawberry. Mm. Yeah, this, the, the mouthfeel of this definitely reminds me of like the Twizzlers, the pull and peel. I'm going to just pull this the rest of the way off. So 
So like I said, it, it does like unravel and then it is two separate strings that you can pull apart. Excuse me. Oh man, I just like spaghetti that down my throat. Um, let's go ahead and try next the green, which is the green apple. So like I said, Haribo is by far and away my favorite of these gummy candy confectioner companies. Um, I do see the trolley a lot. I see their presence maybe a little bit more in like gas stations and stuff. But I always can find the Haribo here, at least in the Seattle area. Walgreens always carries it. And right now, they're actually doing a special. I'm not any kind of paid endorsement here, but got all three of those American bags for just $4 even. So that was cool. So green apple, we'll go ahead and give this one a try. Sorry, there's a lot of chewing sounds going on. I apologize for that. So the green apple is good. I think the flavor on it is really light. It's not like a, it's not like super sour green apple like you would normally get here in the U.S. I like that one a lot. Um, I think so. These two are very similar in color. Um, the one, this one's a little bit lighter, and this one being a little bit darker. I think this darker one. You'd almost think it's an orange, but I'm pretty sure that that is a peach. So we'll go ahead and give this peach one a try next. Hmm. Yeah. That's definitely peach. Um, and if you're familiar with the Haribo Candy Company, you know that they have the Peachios. I think that's right. They're like little discs and they're like peach flavored candies and they have like the granulated sugar on the outside. Those are really good. I used to really like those in like high school. They had like the, uh, I don't know what they called it, but it was like the little candy shop. And you could go and like at lunchtime buy they had candy bars and stuff. It was basically just like a big vending machine. Um, but they always had those PGOs and they were always sold out. Always sold out. So next is the lighter of the two kind of yellowish colors, and this is uh, lemon. So we'll give the lemon a flavor. We'll have a flavor. We'll give it a lemon a taste. It's very... The one thing I'm noticing is that all the flavors on these are very subtle. They're not like super sour like you would expect from a lemon or from a green apple. Um, I think maybe the strawberry one was the, definitely like the strongest flavor wise. But overall, so far these are all very good. Um, I will note that they are a little bit sticky. My fingers are kind of sticky. They have like a nice little film on them. So that's great. So like I said, that these are fruit and... And cola, fruit and cola. So those were the four fruit flavors. And then lastly, we have the cola flavored one. And I'm most excited for this. Like I showed earlier, I have the cola bottles, the gummy colas. The cola flavored candy is one of my favorite things. Um, I'm very excited to try this. Mm. Mm hmm. Wow, this is delicious. This is probably my favorite one. Um, it tastes like cola. It tastes like... I mean, obviously it's not carbonated because it's candy, but it tastes just like cola. It is fantastic. Um, oh, I'm really excited to finish this bag. Um, yeah. Anyway, so there's the five flavors. I would say... The cola automatically wins as my favorite. I'm kind of biased towards cola candy. And then I would say the strawberry next. And then the peach, the green apple, and finally the lemon. None of them are bad, but I just thought that in that order was kind of the way I enjoyed the flavors the best. 
Uh, let's see here. How am I going to lay this out? Oh, I said I like the green apple more than the lemon. Yeah, I like that. So cola, strawberry, peach, green apple, and a lemon. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you learned maybe a little bit of something about Haribo candy. I try to not always just review stuff, but, you know, give a little bit of a history lesson or something when I can. And we are slowly but surely making our way to 100 subscribers on YouTube. That is something I never thought would actually happen. Um, so I'm very excited for that. And I'm very excited to continue making these videos and seeing what the future has to hold for us. So thank you again for watching. If you haven't already and you would like to subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want to leave a comment or a thumbs up on the video, you can do that. As always, I will link my social media presence stuff in the bottom, Facebook and Twitter. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next one.